Hi, my name is Ben Leifling, president of Bullies Be Gone. We're going to talk about how to get the bullies gone from your life. Specifically, we'll talk about recognizing the signs that there's harassment and bullying in the workplace. Today, let's focus on overt, obvious harassment, bullying, and abuse. I'll list a lot of bullying behaviors in the workplace, but there's not enough room to list every bullying tactic. The list is meant to sharpen your ears and your eyes, to get you to pay attention to your accurate intuition. If you have questions or suggestions, please call me. Now, overt bullies act right out there in public. Of course, the first sign is that overt bullies at work use physical harassment and violence or the threat of it to you, your family, your property. Overt bullies form work cliques or mobs to back them up when they harass or abuse scapegoats. Number two, overt bullies at work throw temper tantrums like children. Physical explosions, verbal outbursts, or the loud silent treatment, or they're cold and calculatingly violent. Overt bullies misunderstand and blow everything out of proportion. They're the finger in your face, yelling, aggressive, abusive, argumentative, personal name-calling. They'll call you jerk, stupid, liar, unethical. Number four, overt bullies at work make harsh remarks, put-downs, abusive personal criticism in public or in private. They talk down to people. They push their sensitive places. They make others feel bad. Number five, overt bullies at work are endlessly negative, complaining, harassing. They go to extremes over minor things. They threaten lawsuits or revenge or physical violence or property damage instead of compromising or looking for win-win solutions. They act as if you have 100% of the responsibility to communicate. Number six, overt bullies at work back down only if they have to. Otherwise, they won't stop. They make agreements and then violate the agreement. When you negotiate, you always adjust and compromise. They never do. And number seven, overt bullies at work blame other people for their outbursts. It's never their fault. They think they're absolutely right. They won't change their behavior no matter how much you reason, educate, explain, ask. Even though they might say sorry and ask for another chance, they won't stop bullying. Now, overt cyber bullies in the workplace, they use email, cell phones, and sometimes social networking sites to attack and to gather mobs and cliques. Cyber bullies at work send hate-filled emails. Cyber bullies at work sabotage. They use innuendo, rumor, accusation, and lies. Cyber bullies may harass their target from work, or they may do it from home. There's often huge sick leave or turnover of many different types of people near these overt bullies in the workplace. Overt bullies are the easiest to detect. You know you're being bullied. You know you need to rally yourself and get strong, courageous, determined, skillful. You can never be nice enough, kind enough, sweet or caring enough to change these workplace bullies. You're not their rescuer. You're not their therapist. Don't try to solve their psychological problems. You'll never change them. In order to stop these overt bullies at work, you'll have to overcome your sweetness and your hesitation. You'll have to overcome your fear. Overt bullies are also the easiest to get evidence against. They act in public. Other people at work will witness their aggression, their harassment, abuse, and bullying. You can help these people testify as witnesses instead of becoming spectators or bystanders. Don't debate or argue with overt bullies. Find someone high up on the totem pole to help you. Make a business case for how damaging bullying tactics are. Get allies who want to stop bullies. Shine a light on their tactics and their cliques. Relentless workplace bullies are predators. They go after the weak, the isolated, and those who can't resist. Overt, sneaky, manipulative bullies are harder to detect and get evidence against. We'll talk about them in a separate video.
Which cost is greater when you tolerate harassment or bullying? Creation of a hostile workplace or slow erosion of your soul? Since all situations are different, please call me at 1-877-8-BULLIES. That's 1-877-8-BULLIES so you can get the strength and skill you need and we can create a plan that will be effective in your specific situation.